That's right. There's uh, no chat on the side. You guys know what that means. Just out of the shower, offline segment, not wearing pants. And I forgot to turn off Lizard's Light. That's, uh, that's Lizard's Light. Man, it looks like a, <laughs> like a little sun back there, doesn't it? <clears throat> Good thing I normally remember to turn it off for the live streams. Hey, listen. Uh, normally I would have done this on stream, but my stream schedule lately has been, uh, not great. Thanks to, uh, Video games, Jordan Peterson was right, thank you. <clears throat> so I'm telling it to you now. Uh, it is, if you can believe it, and I scarcely can, the anniversary of January 6th, you know, the attack on the Capitol, the whole business. And I, I thought it'd be nice to have like a, a brief retrospective. I've talked about this a few times before. Uh, so if you've heard me talk about this before and you're tired of it, uh, stay anyway and donate money to me. I don't, I don't care. Uh, you're, you're staying, you're not getting out of this. Um, it's, this is, this is, man, this is compulsive education. Okay. You can't, can't leave. Um, look, so as we all know, one year ago today, uh, the, the, the forces of suburban America stormed their local Applebee's, um, to get more ranch dressing. I, it, 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 it's really funny. I mean, everything that happened on January 6th is really, really funny. Um, I wish that liberals could understand this. Um, I wish that liberals could understand that it's funny and leftists could understand that it's serious. That's my, that's my big takeaway, you know, because from the liberal side of things, you know, there's this utter humorlessness and this cuckoldry on the part of the liberal democratic establishment, by the way. I just want to say that if the Democratic Party was a real party that was capable of real political messaging and had real political strategists who actually wanted to win, January 6th should have been the end of the Republican Party. I mean, are you kidding me? The 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 former president essentially giving the go-ahead on an insurrectionary attack of people who wanted to kill members of their own party, Mike Pence and others? I mean, Oh my God, like it, but, but of course, you know, Democrats, you know, they're, they're limited to their performative, you know, um, uh, the pearl clutching and finger wagging, and there's not much we can do. We have our Jan 6 commission, of course, you know, uh, that's all fun and good, but we really need fire and brimstone rhetoric and we're not getting that from them. And the leftists aren't giving it either because, you know, to, to the leftists, they, I mean, they, they don't want to come off like a MSNBC chugging liberal, you know, a Funko pop collecting soy uh, consuming, you know, Hillary Clinton lover. So they, they, they kind of downplay the whole thing. Look, there are two immutable truths. First of all, the January 6th stuff is funny. Okay. I hope that, I hope that history remembers it as a bunch of power scooter, uh, riding Walmart, uh, you know, um, veterans riding up the mobility ramp, uh, with, you know, dual AR-15s, you know, in both hands, you know, like, I, I hope memory uh I hope memories of this event are clouded to the point where we remember not what actually happened, but the spirit of what happened. Uh and the spirit of what happened was was a was an incredibly you know, pathetic, ill informed and impotent uh, you know, sort of uh, baby rage. Um but I but I hope also, because this is equally immutable, that people, especially on the left, realize that unfortunately and I know this is really anticlimactic, but basically all fascist action, successful or unsuccessful, is kind of comes off like a stupid baby rage. You know what I mean? Like I just I just know that if we were that if we were back in Germany in the in the late twenties or early thirties, you know, and you see because then the, the the they were so dumb. The fash, they were so stupid. They're always so dumb. And, you know, we were laughing. And then eventually, like, one day, like, they win. And it's like, oh. Oh. You know, nobody expected the Weimar Republic to fall. There's this unfortunate sort of narrative desire that humans have to believe that their great enemies are these formidable and competent forces. But unfortunately, if you're a leftist, that is simply not the case. The greatest enemy of leftists, you know, fascism, uh, is really dumb. It's just really, really stupid. It's a constant comedy of errors. It's a bunch of, you know, uh, you know, um, uh, tobacco chew chewing, uh, you know, cousin fucking, uh, incompetent milk toast. Uh, fuckwits stumbling over each other 
in a desperate effort to, to rush to the not vaccine clinic uh, to prove uh, how not vaccinated they want to. I'm, I'm t I can't do the bits right now. I'm too tired from the video game playing. Listen, <clears throat> no, no jokes. Listen, listen up, okay? There will be another January 6th, all right? It probably won't happen on January 6th because that's a bit on the nose, but listen, it'll happen eventually, okay? I don't know if it's going to be some big insurrectionary attack or if it's going to be like the, you know, the, 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 the Wichner, I forget her name, was it Wetner, Wickner, Wetner, Wickner? The time they tried to kidnap the damn governor, okay? I don't know if it'll be that or somebody does some grassy knoll shit. I have no idea. Um, eventually, something like this is going to happen, you know? And the Republicans are going to do the same thing that they always do, which is they're going to kind of condemn it, but not really. You know what I mean? Like, no, don't do that. But maybe the Democrats should learn, if people are this angry at them to do some grassy knoll shit, then maybe the American people were there for You know, they're going to do the whole not like fake denunciation thing. And that is really, really dangerous. You know, not only does it encourage stochastic terrorism down the line, but it essentially means that through an incredibly abstracted process, you know, members of the Republican Party get to kind of sort of a little bit put a hit out on people and institutions they don't like, you know, and just sort of wait for their constituents to get the job done. You know, Democrats can't do that because of all the Funko Pop collecting, soy chugging. Can you imagine that kind of world? Can you imagine if, like, uh, we had a base Democratic Party where they would, like, you know, B Biden's doing an address and he looks directly at the camera and he gives you, like, the satellite coordinates of, like, an oil pipeline and he's like, that's not good, <laughs> And 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 all the all the people at the company who who own that pipeline are like sweating profusely because they know they have like forty eight hours to to get a security detail out there. Oh God, uh, we we condemn all acts uh, of of violence on this um, on this channel. Look, it's dangerous stuff. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You can make fun of it and also recognize that it's that it's 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 very dangerous you know what i mean maybe you, you can think of jan six as an attempted murder right i mean maybe it was a really goofy attempted murder maybe you know you have a crazy stalker ex and you were at a starbucks flirting with the hot big titty goth barista you know she's got big milkers you're thinking of the joke from that meme remember the breast milk breast milk breast milk breast milk breast, yeah that one you know you're thinking but you're not saying anything because you're not literally insane um and then you know a, a window crashes and a knife flies by your head and and embeds itself in the wood of the counter you know like sort of in an arc right and then you turn around to your crazy ex and they run off now you look at the knife and it's like a kitchen steak knife i mean even if this thing hit you point first it would probably just kind of like poke you I mean, even if it hit you in the back of the head, it would probably just, like, give you, like, a little prick. I mean, it might not even make it through your hair or, like, a hat, you know? So it's, it's, it's a very silly way of attempting to, to take your life. But it does mean something, doesn't it? I mean, you'd still go to the police with that. I mean, even, first of all, maybe this attempt was silly, but maybe the next one won't be. Maybe your crazy ex is thinking, like, okay, the gun. We need the gun next time, you know? Uh, maybe the next crazy knife throw just, they just turns out to work that time, you know? Maybe they're just going through random knives in their kitchen drawer, and the next time they're going to settle upon, like, a big, heavy, like, cleaver. They're gonna throw that in that one. If they get that one good, that one will get you, you know? This is the most tortured diatribe. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish my coffee. I need to get ready for stream later today. I've got errands to do. All right, just, just stay woke, people.